All right, in this video here, we're going to be doing a quick review for the properties of exponents. So a quick review on what a power is. It is a product of repeated factors. The base of the power is the repeated factor and the exponent of the power indicates the number of times the base is used as a factor. So this is a mouthful, here we go. So let's pretend we have 53 to the fourth, so that's our power. 53 is the base and the exponent is four. So what does this mean? It means we're gonna have 53 four times being multiplied. So there's 153 here, there's another one, there's the third one, and there's the fourth one. So just backing up just a second here, if we have b to the x power, that means we have x factors of b, or putting it another way in kind of simpler language, we have x amount of b's being multiplied. Now remember, these are gonna be replaced with numbers here. b is gonna be like a six, and then the x is gonna be like a five. So we'll have five sixes being multiplied. Quick example here, we have eight to the fourth power. Eight is the base and the exponent is a four. So if we're gonna write this in expanded form, that means we're doing the repeated multiplication. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four eights being multiplied. Now, if we're looking for standard form, that's where we actually find the value. So probably on this one, get out our calculators. We have four eights to be multiplied or eight to the fourth power. If you know how to do that on the calculator, 4,096 is the value there. So here we have three X to the fifth power. The base is what's directly to the left of the exponent. So it's just X. Now the exponent, that's a five. That one's pretty easy to figure out. So now we're gonna write this or rewrite this in expanded form. So we have a three, and then we're gonna have five X's after that. One, two, three, four, five X's being multiplied. So we have a three times another five X's. There's expanded form there. What is the base of 4x to the negative fifth power? The base is gonna be 4x. So if we don't have the parentheses, just x would be the base, but since this is in parentheses, it keeps the four and the x together. So 4x is the base. Now we're gonna rewrite seven times seven times seven times n times n in exponential form. So we're gonna have some exponents. Let's start with the sevens here. How many sevens are being multiplied? One, two, three of them, seven to the third power. Now let's look at the n's. We have one, two, n's being multiplied there. So seven to the third power, n to the second power or seven cubed, n squared. Let's look at the product property. So here we have two fours being multiplied times another three fours being multiplied. So if we look at this expanded out, there's two fours being multiplied times three fours being multiplied. So how many fours are being multiplied? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five fours being multiplied there. So when we have the same bases, we're just gonna add those exponents up. Now let's look at the quotient property. So the numerator here says we have five fours being multiplied. There's one, two, three, four, five fours being multiplied for the numerator. And the denominator is gonna be three fours being multiplied there. So looking at this, four over four, four over four, four over four, they all become one times one times one times four times four. So the number of fours remaining is gonna be two of them. So four squared there. So as long as we have the, the same bases here and we're dividing or it's a fraction, we're just gonna subtract the exponents there to get the, the squared, five minus three to make two. Now let's look at the power property. So here we have three four squareds being multiplied. One four squared times another four squared times the third four squared there. A little bit more expanded there. We have two fours being multiplied, another two fours being multiplied, and a third set of two fours being multiplied. For a grand total of how many fours being multiplied? That's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six fours being multiplied. So when we have a power to, an, to another power, we're just gonna multiply these exponents here. Now we're looking at a product to a power property of exponents. 
So this says here we have three, four Bs being multiplied. So there's one four B, another four B, and the third four B there. So basically we can use a commutative property here and kind of rearrange it, at least in our brains. There's gonna be one, two, three fours being multiplied and one, two, three Bs being multiplied. So here we go. That's gonna be three fours being multiplied. We got one, two, three, fours being multiplied. And how many Bs? We are gonna have three Bs being multiplied there. So the kind of the shortcut for this isn't really a mathematically exact phrase, but basically this exponent goes to both the four and it goes to the B, it goes to both there. It's kind of like the distributive property, except it's not because this is with exponents. So quick wrap up here, product property, you're gonna add the exponents, you got the same bases there and there. Quotient property, we're gonna subtract the exponents, we have the same bases, so five minus three makes two. Power property, we're gonna multiply the exponents, we have a power to a power, so two times three makes six. And product to a power, that exponent of three goes to the four and it goes to the B.